Hey guys, welcome back to Robo. Hope you guys are doing well. Staying safe. And today in this video, this is another informative kind of a video, and we're gonna tell you what battery management systems are, how do they work, and what their functions are. Basically, how important battery management systems are for your batteries. So stay tuned. Basically what battery management systems are that it's a system which regulates the parameters, the internal parameters like the temperature, the current and the voltage of the battery while charging and discharging. In technical terms, the battery management system estimates the state of charge and the state of health of the battery to improve and to just sustain the battery's safety and performance. Basically what it does is it, it avoids overcharging and over discharging of a battery. This way what it does it maintains the battery level within a minimum and a maximum so that there are no sudden accidents. So basically if it overcharges it can explode. So what the battery management system does is avoids these explosions from happening. What this means is that the BMS or the battery management system is a very crucial system for your battery in any device that you are making or you have. If you want to know more about the building blocks of the battery management system, we have written an entire blog explaining in detail about the building blocks of a BMS. You can check the blog out. The link is down in the description. It's very detailed, very nicely put. You can have a read and then just understand the building blocks. Let's get to how these BMS or battery management systems work. What is their basic basic working principle. So the working of the battery management system depends on the complexity of all the components that are present inside of the system. The microcontroller in the BMS measures the current and the voltage in real time and accordingly just switches the MOSFETs on or off. In BMS, there is just one bus that is used for charging and discharging. Initially, when there is the battery that is not connected to any input or there is no output going, the, both the FETs are off so that there is no flow of current. The microcontroller of the BMS senses that there is an input voltage if you have connected it for charging. So what it does is that it switches on that MOSFET so that the battery can now charge and the other FET that is responsible for the discharging is still off. So there is no voltage or current going to the opposite side that is the output side. So when you're charging only one FET is on and that is from the input side. And once you have just plugged out the charging and you have connected the battery to some other device and that is discharging. Basically providing some charge to the device that you have connected. So what this microcontroller of the BMS does is that it switches off the input FET and switches on the output FET so that the battery can now discharge and provide charge to whatever device you are connected it. And once you have plugged out both the input and output things, the FETs are now again switched off and the battery is now in stable mode. So there's no charge coming in or going out. So this is the basic principle of how a BMS works and how it helps to keep the battery in a stable position and not overcharge or over discharge. Also, quick reminder again, we are doing a giveaway. We are giving away Robo points worth 2000, 1000 and 500 for three winners. And the way you can enter the giveaway is there is a link down in the description. Check it out. All the rules are given there. All you have to do is just complete three simple tasks and you've entered the giveaway. Also, the giveaway ends tomorrow. That is on 20th of February. So just enter if you're watching this video right now, if you already haven't and just have fun. Normally, there are two types of cell balancing that happens in BMS. One is the passive cell balancing and the other is active cell balancing. In passive cell balancing, the bypass resistors are used to discharge the excess voltage and equalize with the other cells. In active cell balancing, the excess charge of one cell is transferred to a cell with lower charge so that the charge is equalized in both the cells. So what are the functions of this BMS or battery management system? First thing is safety. What it ensures is that it doesn't go above the maximum limit or below the minimum limit. So what happens is if it goes above it, the battery might explode as we said earlier. It prevents that from happening because it just maintains this healthy balance. The second thing is battery performance optimization. Basically the battery is performing at its best when it's somewhere between the maximum limit and in the minimum limit. So what the BMS ensures is that the battery is stable in these conditions and does not overcharge or over discharge, does not go over these maximum or minimum limits. So basically keeping that in that healthy middle. And the other thing is health monitoring and diagnostics of the battery. Basically, the BMS is capable of indicating how much charge is left inside of your battery. So if it's just lowering down a little bit, you can charge it. So yeah, these were the functions of the BMS and just showing how crucial a battery management system is for your battery. And yeah, that was it. That is what a battery management system is. It's working and some of its functions. And yeah, this was an informative type of video. If you liked it, leave this a like and comment 
comment down below if you want us to make more such information type videos and also subscribe if you already haven't we're coming up with a lot more content lot more fun content so yeah subscribe and that's been it thank you so much for watching we'll see you next time